This is Dan Kedby, a producer on the Webby Award-winning podcast, Masters of Scale. On our show, our host, Reid Hoffman, founder of LinkedIn, shares some truly surprising tales of scale. We've also asked our sponsor, the MasterCard Center for Inclusive Growth, to share their own tales of scale. How do they help build and contribute to thriving economies? They offered a series of solutions that you can hear throughout our show. Or you can listen right now. Up next, No Place Like Home. If you asked my mom and dad, what is their number one grievance in their lives? They would say that because they live in a small town in rural central Texas, none of their kids wanted to stay there. That's Prague Mehta of the MasterCard Center for Inclusive Growth. He's describing what a lack of opportunity looks like, not just in rural Texas, but in small towns and struggling cities everywhere. How to stop the brain drain. Investment, Parag said, but the right kind. One of our grantees that I really love is called the Center on Rural Innovation. It's thinking differently about economic development in rural communities so that people have a valid reason to stay put in their small towns. What's exciting to me about this is that we're giving people a reason to stay where they are, invest where they are, and succeed where they are. How do you help people succeed where they are? MasterCard has a tool you need to know about. We're all concerned about gentrification and the investments going into urban centers, ensuring that the people who live there can actually afford to stay there. That's Shamina Singh, president of the MasterCard Center for Inclusive Growth. Her colleague Parag had been telling us about their work bringing economic opportunity to small towns and struggling cities. But how do they make sure the investments in distressed communities are actually helping the community itself? Enter the MasterCard Inclusive Growth Map. I typed in the zip code of where I was born and raised in Chesapeake, Virginia, and immediately I got this great map that showed me the inclusive growth score, not from the lens of GDP, but more about how are we making sure that the growth that's happening in your community extends to all segments of the population. The inclusive growth map uses publicly available data, plus anonymized and aggregated data from MasterCard, to track trends in struggling census tracts. The result is a one-stop data shop to unlock a neighborhood's true potential. How is investment in these areas impacting their lives? What percentage of housing is affordable? Are small business loans up? What about pre-K enrollment? In Chicago, Louisville, and Oklahoma City, Insights from InclusiveGrowthScore.com are steering community investment in ways that can help people stay put. What it allows decision makers to do at the local level is really understand their census tracts and their, in this case, opportunity zones to understand how they're growing as inclusive areas. You can look at the trends to say, wait a second, are these investments actually triggering people to move out of the area? How does your city stack up? If you see growth happening in a way that's inclusive in one part of the country, you can dig deeper to say, wait a second, is that city like my city? Do we have the same DNA? If they're succeeding and my city isn't succeeding, what can I do differently? That's not based on instinct or intuition, but is actually based on hard data. Hard data that's a few keystrokes away and designed to be shared. Because building an inclusive economy is a group effort. Because it's open source, companies may pull down the information and create products around it or use the tool in such a way that will advance another type of business opportunity. And that's where you can use philanthropy to make things even better for the longer term. That idea of joining an organization or coalition, not only to learn from each other, but to actually digitally share information, no matter where you are, I think is something that's really powerful about this. If you have a powerful idea for a product, a tool, or a coalition that builds on inclusivegrowthscore.com, Shamina and her colleagues at MasterCard would love to hear from you. They're looking for partners within the Masters of Scale community. Email them at scale at mastercard.com. That's scale at mastercard.com.